In the Second World War, Canada was one of the many countries that helped the Allies defeat the Axis powers. Canadians of all races and ethnicities, including at least 3,000 indigenous people, volunteered to fight in the war and protect their home. Tommy Prince was one of them. Today, he is recognized as Canada's most decorated indigenous soldier. Thomas George Prince, or Tommy Prince, was born in 1915 in the Broken Head Band at Scatterbury, Manitoba. As a child, Tommy used to hunt around the indigenous reserve, and this helped him develop exceptional tracking skills. Prince enlisted in army in 1940 and trained as a sapper. After two years, he realized that he was more interested in the front line rather than labor work, so he jumped an opportunity to join the 1st Canadian Special Service Battalion. This group of fine soldiers merged with an elite American unit and became known as the Devil's Brigade. This unit was a versatile assault group that specialized in reconnaissance and raiding, which was exactly what Prince excelled at. One of Prince's first tasks was to spy on the Nazis in Italy so as to deliver required information to destroy their positions. He observed the enemy quietly from an abandoned farmhouse 200 meters away from the Germans, and was able to report their actions to the main force via telephone wires. Suddenly, the phone line was cut by shelling, and Prince lost communication with the main force. However, he quickly came up with a clever plan to fix the situation. He kept calm and dressed himself as a harmless farmer and went out into the field. He pretended to weed his crops in front of the German soldiers, while secretly looking for the damaged line. Then he simply knelt down, pretending to tie his shoelaces, and quickly fixed the lines. The Germans paid him no mind. He returned back to the abandoned farmhouse with no trouble and continued sending his reports. Thanks to his quick thinking, the Devil's Brigade managed to destroy all of the German positions, and he earned a military medal for this service. A few months later, Prince were sent on a mission to scout the enemy camps along with his friend. They hiked 24 kilometers behind enemy lines and came across a squad of French partisans who were surrounded by a German platoon. Prince and his partner were outnumbered, but they couldn't simply leave the French behind. The two men took sniping positions and started firing at the Germans. Prince ended up killing six German soldiers and injuring a few more. The German commander, overwhelmed, quickly ordered his men to escape, and the partisans were saved. Afterwards, Prince and his partner came out of the hiding and greeted the French soldier's commander. When he asked where the rest of Prince's troops were, he simply pointed to his private, which deeply shocked the French. He said he thought there had to have been at least 50 people who attacked the Germans. The French officer quickly sent a courier to the French commander-in-chief, Charles de Gaulle, to recommend Prince for the Kuwait Guerra, but the courier was killed en route and Prince was never awarded with this medal. Nevertheless, Prince had to carry on his original mission. The group walked over 70 kilometers through a mountainous terrain and endured without food, water or sleep for 72 hours. The effort was definitely worth it, as the Devil's Brigade managed to capture an entire German battalion thanks to Prince's hard work. For this service, he was awarded with a U.S. Silver Star. Only 59 Canadians had received this medal in the Second World War, including Prince. After the Second World War, and during the subsequent war in Korea, he became a part of the 2nd Battalion and was sent to Korea. Prince performed magnificently, but war was taking its toll on his body. He developed a severe case of arthritis in his knee and was discharged back home. While he wished to return back to the battlefield, his health got in the way and he was forced to retire. However, even after retirement, he received the Korea Medal and the United Nations Korea Medal for his service. Today, there are several streets in Winnipeg and Calgary named after Prince, and he's also been commemorated in statues and plaques. While life was harsh for this brave soldier, 
but his sacrifices helped make Canada a safer place for both Indigenous and non-Indigenous Canadians. Yeah.